Hello guys, welcome back to the Korean Dota 2 League. It is Mission Success versus IO Tiger Gaming. Dire team ban. Well, if you ask for my professional opinion in Korean Dota, jo has got this easy. But if you want to vote for Mission Success or Miss Suck, then Ten seconds remaining. go right on ahead and spend your keys when you could be spending them Five opening a new chest remaining. that just arrived today. Anyway, anyway, we have a reserve time. Very standard set of bands and picks here. We have Nature's Prophet. We have the um, Asian Apparition and the Doombringer. All band are all very normal. All very standard meta-ish band. Prophet has been banned since the start of Dota. So, I don't know. It's a, uh, it's a iffy thing. You ban Prophet because you don't like to deal with that guy. Maybe you had a bad pop experience and it's like, uh, got ratted out. Don't want to play it in my pro game two hours later. So. You banned it as well. Slot, very understandable ban. A lot of oh, guys, you'll get the Miss Suck reference very, 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 very soon. Um, when we get into the game, when we get into the game. But for now, we have Invoker being picked up here by Eye of Tiger Hammer, and Mission Success. They have two picks to follow this up. An early Invoker pick. Yeah, it's not dangerous at all. It's really hard to counter up Invoker. Sometimes Storm Spirit is a good idea. But sometimes it's not because Quas Wax does ruin Storm Spirit. Ten so, seconds we'll remaining. See. We will see. Well, Five we'll seconds see. remaining. I mean, seeing that the draws, the picks are all very, very standard um, as of all Reserve recent times. Time. I mean, there are interesting picks in the later portions. Yeah, Nick's Assassin is just Dire team textbook pick. for mage heroes. You know, don't like to deal with a mage guy. Well, I know a guy. His name is Nick's Assassin. So. That came out a little bit lame, but you know what I mean. Nyx Assassin always picked up as a go-to kind of hero. You really can't have a bad experience. I guess you can when you run Nyx Assassin as a support, but now Nyx Assassin, usually played as an offlaner, uh, can cause some trouble. Get up the early level 6, get that Vendetta going, Ten seconds and just remaining. stab supports in their back. But, oh, can't hear Five me in game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is why I have you guys in chat by my side. Reserve time. There we go. Production value. All right. So, anyway, like I was saying, uh, if you guys haven't watched the previous game featuring Jo, you guys definitely should because, well, why? Radiant there was some serious case of rat infection, rat infestation in that game with Jo. Just well, Radiant team. We would say base racing versus five heroes, and he kind of won. Spoiler alert. We have a Venomancer being picked up here now. I'm. I have not really understood Venomancer, apart from the anti-pushing factor which hasn't uh, been shown in Mission Successes two drops, seconds but remaining. Venomancer, he's great, he's a good Templar counter, Five he seconds stops remaining. pushes in their tracks, he's a good zoner, I think that's what he is. Uh, I really Reserve need to get time. some professional opinion on this, so the next time I grab, grab a team caster, um, I would definitely get that in check. Do I think Vano brings sexy back? I do not know how to respond to that, so... <laughs> but... Ten seconds remaining. Yeah. Anyway, it's Gyrocopter being the third band. And Gyrocopter is one of those heroes Five you pick up to remaining. fill the holes in your lineup. Usually, that hole being AoE damage. And we have the Timbersaw being banned out. And I kind of like it because I don't like Timbersaw that Dire much. He's kind of annoying. I can't play him, so I have no reason to root for him. And he's just a hero that wrecks you, especially if you're a squishy support that's trying to get something done. The best way to deal with a Timbersaw is to not fight him if you're undergunned. Uh, only a few key support heroes remaining. without the help of Luna can deal with an early game Timbersaw. And Five seconds remaining. The supports I play usually aren't the ones unless it's Silencer. Silencer is extremely good. Now we see a Lycan band, I like this. J.O. was well known, Dire like I said. His, his retting skills have spread probably throughout Korea by now so I mean that particular red game must have got everyone's jeebus running I don't know how you use jeebus how do you use jeebus anyway uh, but anyway Lycan's gonna be banned out he's a really strong pusher has been seeing a lot of play lately and I'm not so sure if I want to see too much Lycan for TI4 but for Korean Dota 
It is always a thing. We'll see if Zephyr Five pick it up later on today. Main. It's kind of a grudge match. I think March has some s a big bet on the line here. We'll talk more, more about time. that later. Remind me, guys. I'm sure the chat will always remember. But yeah, it's going to be Invoker. And I have Tiger Hammer, if you guys do not know, is a mainly Pinoy squad with one, one Korean. And Mission Success is a bunch of Koreans just trying to make it up big. Grabbing up that Rubik Radiant right now. So it looks like it's going to be a Nyx Assassin support slash mid laner. And in the current meta game, it's more often mid lane than Dire not. And my download manager is just giving me so much trouble. She would just go away. I, I never asked for download manager, it just came with the calm. Oh, that again. Alright, so Crystal Maiden. I have Tiger Hair Gaming, they pick up Crystal Feedin, we'll see if she actually feeds. Nyx Assassin loves some juicy maiden for himself, so does Clockwork. Uh, caging her up within the cogs and doing naughty, Ten nasty seconds things. Remaining. So, but then again, Mission Success haven't been known for their superb remaining. plays as compared to the competition in these areas. So, we shall Reserve see. Time. For, um, yeah, for, those, for those guys, yeah, for those guys that, yeah, for those guys that are wondering, this is how it usually goes. It's a so I tire gaming mission success. They are in the tier two level. They are like some kind of in the lower bracket, and they will play first in the Ten best of one. So remaining. it will be a trolley trolley game, lots of laughs and funny stuff. And then we have Zephyr versus Five MVP Phoenix remaining. in the best of three, the hyped up match of today. And we have the Storm Spirit. Radiant so it Team is Hex. a farming Nix. Uh, no, I mean it is a support Nix assassin. Something that. I think has fallen out of favor a little bit. Nyx does kind of need a little bit of levels, and if he falls behind, he can be pretty useless. So now we have a morphling. He is um, one of the well, resurfacing. If you want to use a Ten pun here, remaining. one of the resurfacing picks in this lineup. Five and seconds remaining. Morphling, he rats pretty well. He's vulnerable to silence. It's a band here, Radiant centaur. Man. Hmm, interesting. I have Tiger Gaming Hammer Team, what will they pick up as their last ban? Right now, I have Tiger, they don't really have a lot of stuns to lock down this Storm Spirit, so... We shall see. There, have, Dire there are a lot of initiators right now. There's Nyx, there's Clockwork, there's Storm Spirit, there's a lot of them, so they really hating, they're really hating on this Invoker, and of course, with so many initiators, you just want to ban out Lifestealer, so it makes perfect sense. I have Tiger Gaming, they will not be doing it with the Lifestealer here, so no Nyx. And they will have Nyx though, so a little bit of a tongue twister. We'll just initiate. No problem. Mission success. We'll see if it's mission success or mission fail because remaining. so far it's been fail. And they have been miss suck. Wind runner. Ah. Radiant team pick. Undying Ina Sante. Alright, Undying sounds so badass in Korean. We have Nyx Assassin as a mid later. Farming storm spirit? I don't know, man. This lane is meant to trip you up. And well, who needs carries when you have initiators? We shall see what kind of a mission this is going to turn out to be. And well, we'll see. We'll see. Undying Shante. I don't know how to say that again. Right, we'll wait for the players to pick up their heroes, and we're gonna jump into the game. Uh, yes, I forgot to take out Demon's name from the overlays, guys. So sorry if you guys have been confused or mildly alarmed. Ten seconds remaining. All right, players are gonna be pick up picking up their heroes. Clockwork is still discussing some tactics with his friends, and yep. All right, so I got my new overlay, guys. How do you like it? It's the pirate overlay. I think it looks pretty Prepare fly. for battle. That was pretty good, I think. Uh, I removed the water because I know some people like to complain about the littlest things. It's not even a word, but you know, that's gonna be something you complain about as well, I think. But BTS uh, will cleverly cover up this cannon for those little kids at home that are not exposed to violence. But then again, why are you watching Dota? Alright, we have Iron Tiger Hammer! We have the Pyong on that Crystal Maiden. We have J.O. on the Morphling playing another red hero once again. Rior on the Invoker with some uh, badass mask and. Meanwhile, we have Cast on the Undying and Chrissy, last but not least, on the Venomancer. We have Emma's Feel or Mrs. Feel <laughs> on Clockwork. We have Hallelujah on the Nyx Assassin. We have Art on the Wind Ranger. 
We have Ohara on the Rubik. And last but not least, we have Hibara XD. So he's always laughing. On the Storm Spread. And why did I say Miss Suck? We'll take a look at that. Miss Suck. So we'll see if his mission success or Miss Suck is a solo mid wind runner with one brunch on the ground for good luck. And we'll see what happens here. It's a interesting lane to say the least. It's a aggressive storm spirit. The battle begins. Okay. So I don't know what's happening here, but it's a really weird ass lane. Aggressive storm spirit, why not? With wards as well. I think this guy mixed it up. Is this guy? The guys, is this the mid lane? I, I don't know. Is it a mid lane? It looks kind of bottom to me. And Hallelujah is gonna say, "Hey, bro, what you doing here?" Nope, me bot, me solo heart lane. And Hibara's like, "Oh, my bad. Get myself some shoes." Wow. Okay. Well, I guess they just wanted to play that whole elements thing, you know, lightning good against water. Maybe we'll see how that works out for them. Crystal Feeden is gonna be around, and we'll see if she does die here. Boots first usually does uh, spell trouble for her. And now Wind Ranger going for first point win run against an Invoker. Um, argue. I, okay, I don't really know this matchup so so much, so I'm not gonna make too many comments. But I'm just gonna assume it's gonna be good for Cold Snap because you won't be able to get much damage onto Cold Snap. Missing a couple of losses here, three and four on the Venomancer, and Chrissy seems to be taking farm. So with the Farmo Mancer, Carry Mancer. If you like to call it, O'Hara gets a perfect dual pull across, so that's nice. And um, it looks like we'll have a little bit of initiation here now. Storm Spirit, nah, no need for slows when I'm running so fast to ready. So, Storm Spirit. I'm, I'm not even sure why they are running this actually. The next session will be star for levels. Uh, I guess it's like, alright, two starners go bot, and we have Clockwork and Rubik. That's a nice combo, of course. Uh, if you guys are not familiar, lift into cogs is GG. It's something like touch rod dodging the power shot like a pro, but now it's 7 to 3 to 6 to 3. And this is the Dota Cinema set, I think. Could be wrong. JO, meanwhile, he's got 4 to 2 last hits here. Storm Spirit 4 to 2 as well. So, so far, so good. Pyong, um, Crystal Maiden, is going to have 1 point in the aura now. Pops a Clarity Potion to get her mana back up. And, well, we have Ohara. Just hanging around there. I'd like to get a brunch on. To Rubik as obvious, well, he starts with 49 damage. Getting that brunch brings him up to 50. So it's just kind of some kind of a religious thing. Oh, Ohara, no, just wrapping around, looking for that first blood. And okay, what is this dual Romy nonsense right now? I don't even know what they're trying to do. It's really hard to predict teams. It's the same thing. It's like you can't sun strike newbies because what? Time to remake this, guys. I'm very well aware of that meme as well. It's no longer the puppy paws, it's the remake. G sorry, G sorry. GG call. Okay. So I don't know what this game is. But yeah that sent off stomp. GG? Colin GG so early, go says the admins and we'll, we'll go Chrissy is just still hanging around with the Vino. Uh, what is happening? <laughs> oh, really? 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 Really guys? You don't even have to pull. I don't know. Accidentally went to top lane remake please. Okay, the lane that cannot kill Morphling. Come to Morphling, fine. Okay, this is just getting weird. <laughs> okay, about to feed. No, Hawks will save him there, but I don't know what's going on now. What's going on? <laughs> This is the tactical dual lane level 2 lane swap, no, fake a mid gang into lane swap. I don't even know the acronym for that. Well, Jo's just gonna giggle, uh, giggle uh, himself a couple and he's gonna get some more last hits here. He's like, this lane cannot kill me, I am so safe right now. But really, <laughs> I don't know what this is about. Okay.
But I guess they can try and kill Chrissy with Nyx Assassin and Storm, but I don't think it's gonna happen now that Cast is here with the Undying. So, rotations galore! This reminds me of the first time I cast Korean Dota. Power Shot is gonna land, it's gonna slip the Invoker, it's gonna haste rune, and Rubik's gonna hobble himself over to that. So, it's now Clockwork left in the lane, is he gonna munch on the side 3 here? Yes, he is! Pick up his shoes! Yes, one? Yeah, there's one as well. Still no killing. They're gonna give Windrunner the bottle, the haste as well as the free rune. It's gonna be nice for a decay. Gonna rune some of strong storm strength. Hallelujah. Still got three branches here. He's got enough for the boots now if he does want it. There's still two sentry wards. I, I don't know why they changed the lanes. I really don't. And I think it would have been a lot more productive if they tried to kill the Vino. And now they're not gonna kill him. And bring the Rubik here just does not get anything done. And Jo is just gonna smile himself and say, alright, free lane, 16 to 3. Money Still, despite shot. that, uh, Jo is not getting the most amount of last. It's the Invoker, the 25. It's 18 for the Wind Ranger. She's still sitting behind, munching on Tango. She's taking quite a fair bit of damage. The Invoker has managed to out damage her with the 100 and, oh well, the 80 ish damage that he has gotten. He's got 3 points of Sunstrike. The Force Spirits are just really annoying to deal with in lane. And now Faith Vault once again. Oh, a little bit of harassment there. It's gonna be a blast as well. Good lift. Gonna start up J.O. But he throws the he throws the CM to him. Sunstrike gonna miss. J.O. getting power shot up. Out. No, you're getting a barrier assault up. And now the Wind Ranger comes in with the Shackle Shot. Good Shackle Shot. J.O. is he about to feed first blood? Is he about to feed first blood? Nope! The first blood fed by the mid laner. Wind Ranger comes in here takes the first blood. So J.O. It's not gonna get, but instead Crystal Feeden will receive it. So J.O. with the Strength Morph, with the Balance Morph. And it's gonna get himself away. And that's gonna be First Blood, 1500 gold in favor now. Storm Spirit dropping really low. The silly ra lane rotation is to blame, I would say. Gets him a Shad Tango, but really, this is just ridiculous. I don't know what's happening. Every time I cast Mission Success, I get really frustrated. And... Oh. Rior? The only explanation for this is they're missing. That's a nice regen fire rocket. There you go. Pop cogs. No. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Hmm, did a little bit of damage. Cast here has got two points in tombstone. One one. Very standard build. Dyer's Normally, top tower if you get uh, two points in soul rip, you can do a lot of damage at level three. If you try to get that down, but still, MSVO has got zero zero zero. And we have Wind Ranger once again getting harassed back there. Oh, that could be a Sunstrike. That really hurts. Force Spritz, Sunstrike. Pew. Nope. Not gonna happen. So it's gonna pop itself. Now it's 1 and 0, 6 minutes in. 36 last hits for the Invoker. Jo is sitting at a comfortable 26. Uh, remember, guys, this is a tier 2 match. So every win is 2 million won. And every subsequent win, uh, success yeah, no, successive win. So wins in a row, uh, you'll get an extra 1 million. So they already are on a one game streak. So looking for the second one as well. It's going to be tough to kill uh, the clockwork here, I imagine. Now he's going to try and rack oh, him. J.O. just clicking creeps. He's going to come in. Here's Sunstrike. Last land here. Wait for him to steal it. Easy. Now they're going after Rubik. There's going to be a little bit of damage reduction here, but he's going to chase it down. No, doesn't have enough mana. I honestly think he could Dyer's have dived that, tower is uh, under but attack. decides not to in the end. Would have cost him his life. Might be a little bit too risky. But that's two kills now. One for Morphling and one for Crystal Maiden. And Wind Ranger is not winning this lane by any margin. 22 to 5 now. And Rior. He's got level 8. Is he going for Hand of Midas? Probably saving up a little bit of gold. Could be going for Dagon at the rate things are going in this game. Uh, but Hallelujah. He's got Boots of Speed. He's got. Hibara, he's got his power threats. Uh, it's alright farm, it's not the best. But Invoker's just crushing this Wind Ranger right now. He's gotten the levels he needs. The Force Spirit's gotta deny that rune even better. And uh, Art is just gonna walk himself away. Force Spirit's balance. Meanwhile, we have the Courier. Oski, gonna bottle crow a little bit for J.O. J.O. dropping a little low there. He takes another rocket to the face now, down to 200. So, has to be careful if he doesn't want to get tased up. And, oh, alright, look at his roaming, look at his roaming, this sick roaming coming in. Is there going to be a Wind Ranger Shackle Shot? You, you, you try, bro, you try. So, once again, the lane is going to fail, O'Hara without shoes. They do the four-man roam across the entire map strat, the rocket will fly, and they port back to middle lane. Nope, they port to the bottom, no, port's home, okay, port's home with full mana and health. 
and have Kibara. It's got eight stick charges. And it's gonna be more decays coming out. So Nick Assassin feeling weaker and weaker as time goes by. Where has he spent his money? I thought he had money for boots earlier on. He did die even. So probably just spent it on wards instead of boots. And well, we have Pyong just sitting around here on the CM. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. How's Rio doing, Art? He's got shoes, null talisman bottle. Undead. Still not too much. Power shot once again. Only got hit two creeps. Not really that worth it. Usually want to clip the hero with it as well. And Hibara. Still farming. He's got 28 last hits. To the clockworks. 28. 35. Venomancer is really farming ahead. I'd like to see what this guy actually gets. The Midas Fall Invoker is done. Uh, but Chrissy. Going for a four star first. Mechanism, maybe. Yeah, mechanism is likely to be the choice here. Jo, he's just enjoying himself. Playing farming simulator here, going for the Ring of a Killer. Dyer's and here we got treads here, switch between treads. You can see the proneness of Jo right here. That's it. Tread switching, something that is not known to a couple of the players here. And so I have Dyer structures are fortified. Okay, we'll take a look at Storm. If Dyer's you guys don't believe me, he's been on strength threads attack. all these while. We'll see if he switches to in treads, okay? It's the storm camp right now. We don't have any first bloods to miss, so we're just gonna keep it in storm. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, look at that vendetta! Scary. All right, here we go. Vendetta. Vendetta. Oh, zip! Try skill Venomancer. Oh, wow, you did! Is under attack. And did he change his threats? Did he change his threats? Oh, he did. He actually did. He actually did. I let you down. Sorry, man. But Chrissy gets a double kill. The Venomancer did. Uh, yeah, the double kill. So, well, it's 4-0 now. Maybe we have the dream. I mean, 26-0 is the dream after all. Cold Snap is going to catch the Wind Ranger at the end there. Once again with her sexy ganks. Going to get herself killed oh, again. It's 5-0 now. Mission success is more like Miss Suck. Looking a lot more like Miss Suck right now. And I have Tiger Hammer having one of the easiest games of their lives. Rior takes a tower kill. It's now Town Portal's grown 1,000 gold to boot as well. We'll see if he goes Force or Eul Scepter. I think Eul Scepter would be really fun for those solo kills right now. How's Jail looking at? He's got 800 gold. E Blade first over Pinoy Sphere. Please Dyer's make it happen. Tower is under attack. And guys, I did warn you about the level of Miss Sucks plays. How shot. Ooh. I think the mask is inhibiting your vision. It's kind of bad for you. Take it off. Double damage. Well, one thing you have to give it up to this wind runner. He does have some pretty good run control, or rather, uh, Eye of Tiger Hammer have a rather bad use of it. Oh, here comes Vendetta Gang number two. We're gonna see if we kill Crystal Feed and 900 health. Instant stun here. Oh, they gonna kill Crystal. Feed. Oh, you missed the stun, bro. Why, <laughs> bro? Man, you messed up and it's zero. I think the dream might be possible in this game. It might actually be possible in this game. Crystal Feeden, we're all looking at you, man. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Well, that was that. Stomp's red dies again. He's an in trance. At least he knows how to tread switch, so that's that's going for him. Uh, Nick's assassin got boots. Improvements. Improvements. And we have a running art once again trying to gank a morphling. Very, very unwise. 9 0 right now, and we are gonna have another death there. Hibara has an escape. They'll call snap! Oh, he's got himself away. Should be fine. Alright, he'll get himself away with his ultimate. And that's the pushing in. It's 9 0 now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, Pyong gets caught. Oh, okay, I think this is death. We'll see it. Crystal made it. Crystal made it. Yeah, Crystal made it. Die. Dream's over, guys. Nothing to see here. The stun lands onto the Undying. We are going to report Pyong to the end of his days. The dream was very possible, man. The dream was very possible. Um, 32 and 2 is not so. Alright. You know, Jo picked up the tower and the bomb lane. Is he going for Perseverance? If he is, he's so fine. No, E Blade first. So, Jo, bring on the EG. Screw safety. 2,000 gold on him, we'll see if he gets it. Another tier 2 tower, tower bites the fallen. dust. We'll have a peek at that gold graph. Ooh, nasty. We're gonna close that right now for the little children back home. Hallelujah! Got 2 gold, 3 gold, 5 gold. So earning his uh, hourly wage in base. And Rubik spending a lot of time in base as well. 0, 1, and 1. Well, not so much time. We'd rather spend more time in base. Uh, this really exemplary, exemplary performance as a wind runner. Really Dyer's doing a good job showing us how to play Windrunner, so it's really good using a pro game to exhibit this kind of plays. Jo comes in to join his team, 2700, there's a mech here from Venomancer, and oh, a good shackle shot. 
Storm Spirit, I'm looking at you. Art, once again, is he gonna get caught? No, the Sun Strike gonna be a little bit off. Hallelujah, probably doesn't wanna be in here. He does stun up J.O., so that's not gonna be a kill. Oh, hook shot in, J.O. is about to feed Crystal Feed and J.O., is he in trouble? He's probably not in trouble. Hallelujah gets caught. There's gonna be a wave across. They're gonna push him down, and that's a lot of kills. 12 to 2 now, another 20 kills to the dream, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Art still feels that it's a good idea to stick around. And he's gonna throw a shackle shot. Ooh, shackle for four spirit through the tree. There you go. Take that, son. Is there a fate ball? No, I didn't use the fate ball to take that tower down. Get the tower. Uh, it's gonna fall here. So losing more towers. We'll see how much Dyer's this gold graph can really get fallen. ahead of itself. XP graph, it's now 10,000 in favor of the radiant, the dire side. Uh, we'll look at the net worth 8,700, 6,800, 6,700. Jayo getting out farmed here by his own teammate. Buys a gold scepter first. I'm not so sure. There's a lot of magic damage. I think an E Blade first would have been better, but he, perhaps he wants the stats more. So he's gonna go for the stats first and see him. Please get your shit together. Uh, the two feeds here. Oh, they're gonna go in jail. They toss him back in. Yes, initiate for the enemy. Wave for no good shackle shot. But now traps himself in with the with the guy. Pyong gonna be feeding once again. Pyong drops the ultimate, gets blown up. You try, CM. That's another death for you. CM trying to throw this game, but his teammates will not allow him. Crystal feeding. Please get it together. Jo about to feed as well. If he's not careful, they're gonna try and kill him off. Oh, cast pops this undying ultimate. He's gonna bash away at the wind runner. Wind runner gonna be in trouble. There's a win. uncharged now. No DK. Don't take the risk, man. They're all gonna head back out. But Crystal feeding the only person to die in her team. And well, that's another tier two tower going. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. So on the gold. Yeah, it's gonna be twenty thousand now in fifteen minutes. So you earn twenty thousand more gold in fifteen minutes. This is oh, you blade foot. Wow, wow! I saw that Rio. You have bad manners. You are the toxic. This community does not need. Just kidding, bro. Just kidding. Such BM. PM. And Jail's gonna come in, join his friends. He's gonna wave form across. There was a little bit of a bug. 2,500 gold. There is a double damage on their bottom lane. So more chance for him. If only Blitz could see you, Hibara, he would be so disappointed. He's in the studio right now. So please don't look in the crowd, man. I pray for you. The glare that he sees will not be pleasant. Uh, you know, cast. It's got his hype of insight. It's got. Double damage for Jo. It's got Rios, Binders, got Four Staff, Chrissy, Mechanism, Basilius, Arcane Boots. So all good, all good. Stacking Rain's a little bit of the rings, but otherwise, attack. not too much to complain about. Storm Sprint. Oh, that sounded like a big zip. Okay, here we go. Operation Kill Crystal Feeder. We'll see if she dies this time. There's a pipe. It's gonna be tougher. Wrap around, gang. It's gonna be the name Dyer's of the game. Who leads the way? No, no. All right, Art. It's time for you to go in. And suicide. Vendetta's running out, bro. Vendetta's running out. Okay. So let them take the tier 3. Okay, we still got this. Dyer's middle tower Art, power shot. Oh, doing a lot of damage. Jo taking the deeps. Cast gets shackled up. Now they're gonna go for Undying. Undying gets caught. Where's the mech? Now the mech comes in. He heals himself. A lot of people dying around him. Healing the golem. Thank you for the free lives. Triple kill here for Jo. That's 20 to 3. Uh, two more kills for the reverse. Reverse score, I guess, but GG calls out, so they want to ruin the dream. Miss suck ruining dreams since Dyer's the start of KDL season one. Fallen. But still, they put up a valiant Radiant effort. They killed Crystal Maiden three times. Maybe that was in their mission card right at the get go. And this is not me fibbing on their net worth chart, this is the actual net worth chart. So, yeah, I have Tiger, easiest game of their lives. Well, on the bright side, that pushes up our schedule and we'll have Zephyr vs MVP Phoenix coming right up after this. It's a best of three, it's a tier one match and it's even more money for Zephyr if they can win another successive, uh, successive win here in the KDL. They've been winning a lot here. They're on a hot streak but March looking to end that because he has been promised uh, Twitter followings from the following people I think from someone that told me. Yeah, if March wins Demon, Fear, and Kuroki will follow him on Twitter, so apparently that is the case. So I wish March all the best against the power of friendship, but Yugi is not gonna let him take this lightly. So, well, better go into the next best of three, but before that, we're gonna have a whole bunch of good songs, good tunes for you guys, and some K-pop tossed in there. If you don't like K-pop, well, I am very sorry, but you should really give them a chance. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next time. I'm like Santa Zanori. If you like my casting, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. My name's on the top right corner, and I will see you guys in the next set. Much love and Kappa.